In this exercise, we're given a point Q, which is the point 3, 8, negative 1, and we're given the equation of a plane, 4 times x plus 2 minus y plus 5 plus 2z equals 0, and we're asked to find the distance, the shortest distance, from this point Q to the plane. Now, in the last video, we went through all the theory for how to do that, and, and we're going to skip all the theory in this video. We're just going to get right to working the example. Um, basically, the, the way the idea went was from the equation of the plane, you can easily read off a point that's in your plane. In this case, it'll be negative 2, negative 5, 0. That's your x naught, y naught, z naught from the equation of the plane. And you can also quickly read off a normal vector to the plane. In our case, it's 4, negative 1, 2. And then using these two things, here, here's how the idea went. You can create a vector PQ and then project it onto the normal vector. And then you can take the magnitude of the projection and you're done. This distance here, the magnitude of the projection is the same as the distance from Q to the plane. And the reason we need the projection uh, is because I don't actually know where this point is in the plane. I can see it, but there's no easy way to tell what the closest point to Q is in, in the plane. So that's kind of why we need the projection. Now, after some theory, our formula whittled down, it condensed to this formula. So we're just going to go straight to this, this formula right here. So I've got, I've got point Q and let me, let me jot down the other things. Um, the point P in our plane, which like I said earlier that we can read off is the point negative two, negative five, zero. That's X naught, Y naught, Z naught. The point Q, which is given is three, eight, negative one. And then the normal vector to the plane would be the vector four, negative one, two. So let me compute PQ and then I'll go right to my right to my formula. So P, a vector from point P to point Q, we'll do terminal minus initial. We'll take three minus negative two, that gives us five. Eight minus negative five, that's 13. And negative one minus zero is negative one. So now it's time to use this formula here. And our distance D, the distance from the point to the plane will be PQ dot N. So let's take these guys dot products. You remember how to do that. You're going to multiply the ith, jth, and kth components and then add those results together. So we'd have 20. 4 times 5 is 20. Negative 1 times 3 makes minus 13 or negative 13. And then 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. So we'll have minus 2. We'll take the absolute value of that and divide it by the magnitude of n. And its magnitude would be the square root of 4 squared plus negative 1 squared plus 2 squared. All right, let's see. 20 minus 13 is 7. 7 minus 2 is 5. That's already positive, so I'll just leave that like it is. Let's see, 4 squared is 16, negative 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, so 16 and 1 make 17, plus 4 makes 21, so I have 5 over the square root of 21. Uh, that doesn't really simplify, 21 is a prime number. Um, if I'm not going to do this in this video, but if you wanted to, you could get a decimal approximation for that you know, if you wanted to. Um, I think this would be a little bigger than one um, because I know root 21 is a little less than five. And so this ratio should be a, a little more than little more than one. So that's how you compute the distance from some random point to a plane in space.